Hello everyone, I welcome you all to day three training session for Frankenstein debate tournament. Today we're going to do mock, but before that, let's do a quick clarification for motion for round one and motion for round two. Um, again, motion for round one and round two are going to be the same. Uh, motion for round three again is going to be different. Now, is there any question on the motion? Did you start preparing for your motion for everyone who is debating on 23rd? This is going to be, um, these are going to be your motions. So um, again, I hope there are no questions. If there are any okay. questions, ma'am, ma yeah. round one and two and three, but or only round one and two. So round one and round two, this is going to be the motion carbon tax. Okay. For round three, it's going to be in momentary movements. I hope this is clear. Ma'am, I have a so question. Are this. we doing round three on twenty third? Yes, all rounds are going to happen on twenty third. Okay, Meher, yeah on the first motion so i got what should happen for proposition we've already um gone a little deep in that me and my team but mm. for proposition i'm not really understanding what we have to say is it should Good be question. that it should go on okay. the government or that there shouldn't be any carbon tax at all okay okay so one is you can either like there are two strategies you can either say that you know there shouldn't be any carbon tax at all and what are the harms of carbon tax um the second could be um the idea is that you're trying to solve um the issue of climate change right so if not climate change and if climate uh, if not carbon tax and if carbon tax has um, inherent harms what could be the alternative policy and why is it better but your primary burden is to say why carbon tax is a bad policy in the first place and then go ahead probably and give an alternative alternative um, to solve the issue of climate change uh, but that shouldn't come to the cost of saying that hey rather than like actually putting tax we can put limits and then we can probably tax people who go higher than the limit because that's essentially government's case so carbon tax means carbon anything any any if you do any emissions irrespective of the limit um there is going to be a tax that's government side's um idea and then benefits of it opposition is going to say hey, there are issues with the implementation of the policy um, because um, there are so, so and so harms of carbon tax. And if you want to, you can give us to how else we can solve the problem of climate change. Um, Mehan, I hope Thank that's clear. Thank you, ma'am. Excuse, uh, ma right. Excuse me, ma'am. Wait, can you guys please keep your uh, hands raised? I want to choose people who are like being disciplined. Okay, um, John Rajvi. Uh, like what are like uh, like when are we gonna discuss what to say in the debate? Yeah, so you should you should start discussing from now itself, right? Because it's a prepared motion. Um, so you should get on call with your teammates and then discuss um and then discuss what rules you should be um and then what arguments you should run, what should could be the possible rebuttals, etc. Anya. I was rechecking, but so the third motion means. That if anybody like uh, in the country tries to do an environmental movement, then the government should be responsible for that. Anything like good or bad? No. So environmental movements are basically, you know, all the activists and like uh, people who want to spread awareness for environmental issues, who want to make changes for environmental issues, who want to make legislative changes or policy changes, um, etc. for everyone. So what they do in order to do that is they, they hold campaigns, they hold awareness campaigns, they try to lobby the government, they try to convince the government, and they oftentimes also protest for the against the government in order to do certain activities. Now, what this motion is trying to say is that um, either you should hold governments accountable, uh, which means you tell the government to, you know, change policies, uh, do X, Y, Z, um, and stuff like that. Or you tell individuals, which is normal citizens that, you know, um, rather than, let's say, um, like taking a shower, probably bathe with a bucket and stuff like that. So what you're trying to do uh, on prop on on site proposition is that, you know, governments are the ones who should probably go ahead and do something for environment as opposed to in like convincing individuals. So as the environmental movement, what should you do? So as people who want to make change and are probably activists for environmentalism, um, what should you do? Should you go ahead and convince the government and hold them accountable? Or should you tell, go to the people and tell them that, listen, these are the activities which are actually harming climate. So for example, going to people and saying that, um, listen, you shouldn't go ahead and use uh, your bike or car every day, probably do carpooling or probably go ahead and um, use public transports, et cetera. That's individual responsibility. Uh, but on the other hand, um, if you it is proposition, you're probably telling them that, listen, um, let's 
mandated that everyone has to carpool or something of that sort, which means it then becomes a law and therefore people have to necessarily obey it. Um, but yeah, that's what proposition of the is gonna say. Is there any question with respect to this then? But yeah, before that, I think there are multiple uh, hands raised. Here, Ridan, what's your question? Uh, for, for this, we have to prepare on both sides also and there'll be only one round for this. Correct. So you prepare for both sides and then before round three, you will be told whether you're proposition or opposition. And based on that, just read the speech that is um, allocated to you. Yeah, my, my question was that only what, uh, how will we know and when will we know what side are we for round three? Yeah, so you would know exactly. I think uh, I think a prep and I'll, I'll just go to the schedule if you want me to. But the schedule was already shared for you yesterday, right? Just a second. Okay, so I want you all to open the deck that I sent on the group, which was um, sent about day two training. Um, according to that, uh, uh, you will get your side at 6.30 for round three, and you will have prep time for one hour. So which is basically one hour before the round three, you would know which side you are. Okay. Um, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Prisha, don't speak out of turn. Uh, Ayana? Ma'am? Yeah. Are we going to get extra training classes for the uh, people who are going to do on 20 years? Yes, you will get three more, three classes as well. Yeah. Um, Laksha. Okay, that was my mistake, I'm guessing. Saket Ram? Nothing, ma'am. Okay. Then, Palakshi? No, it's not about this, um, but I don't have a, a third team later. Okay, I think uh, I think the team is going to reach out to you for what will happen for the third team. Um, okay, Prasha, go on. So, ma'am, my dog was like, what exactly do we have to tell in opposition? Because previous year also I participated. So, all the times that I got opposition, uh, we lost. So like exactly oh, no, it doesn't we can no, understand I don't think it's what based to on the idea. Tell in opposition. Wait, so I don't think I don't think the fact that you're saying op when you were in opposition you lost uh, makes any sense. Um I think um I can tell you so what did you understand as of now for round three? What are you asking for round three or round one or two? Uh all rounds, like in any round I if we get off. Yeah, so on op, there are two things that you need to do. You should have a positive stance, which means you have to tell us to why your side is better. But you also need to take down what your proposition has said. For example, in round one and round two, you if your opposition, uh, two things that you need to do is what are the harms of carbon tax and why it shouldn't be imposed. Second is, if not carbon tax, what should be the alternative that we should do in order to solve the issue of climate change? I hope this should be clear. The second thing is round three. For round three, you would tell as to why individual responsibility is more important than holding governments accountable. But second, you would also tell as to why it's more likely that you're going to have better outcomes for individual responsibility. Um, so I think as of now, it should be clear as to what you're supposed to do on opposition. Um, I think it's very clear in terms of saying that, you know, whenever it is proper of its harms versus benefits. Um, so understand what your stance is and then try to hi highlight the benefits of your side and then try to hi highlight the harms of your opposition inside um i can see a now okay ma'am thank you uh yes ma'am i had a doubt about the third round in the mm. third round it's gonna be the same as first and second first we do uh prop and then we do uh, op so here's the thing right for round one and two you have the same motion um which is why it's prop or op for round three, it's a different motion. So you would be told you would be told whether you're gonna be proper up on the like on, on the day so itself. Only, so only so only it's gonna be like three debates we have to prepare Correct. for yeah. prop, op, and then the thing we up and up both. Yeah. So no, so for round three, you you prepare for both because I don't think for, for your age, one hour is enough prep time for you to be able to do. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna research for both sides and on the spot when like topic is given to you, the one hour you're going to use to uh, revise the side that is given to you rather than actually... So like prepare. on the spot we'll be told uh, if we are doing proposition or opposition. Correct. Yeah. Which is why you okay. should prepare for both sides. Okay. Um, and ma'am... Next, 
Yeah. Uh, like in the round one and two, we'll be when we'll be told what we are doing first. Um, just before the round, like okay. fifteen minutes before. Yeah. Okay. Um, Yashvika. Mom, I had a doubt about like uh the first round. Like, mom, um, I mean, in the or about the order, order in the sense, like, um, mom, I have a doubt, like, um, when are we gonna know about when the first and sec, uh, about what are we are speaking in the when you are supposed to speak, is it? Yeah. So the judge is going to say, so this is how it will start. The judge is going to be like, hello and welcome to the round one. Um, and then they'll introduce themselves and then you're, they're, they're going to call you. So they'll be like, um, I invite the first speaker from proposition to start the debate. And then they'll be like, I, I now invite the first speaker from opposition. Or then they'll be like, um, I will invite the second speaker of uh, proposition. So they will basically invite you to speak. So just know which speaker you are. But ma'am, how will we know that... The team three, like suppose we have a comp, uh, like the competition first is from like second team and third team. The competition hmm. is between both of them. Hmm. So how will we know that the competition is between both of them? What if it's like second and eleventh team? No, you would know it because we will tell you which team you're going against. Oh, and uh, when will we know that it's our chance? In the sense, like I'm in team three. So how will we know that now it is team three chance? Now it is So you so okay, here's what's gonna happen. Um we'll tell you um which who whether you're proposition or opposition, and then we'll also tell you who you're going against. And then we'll also tell you which room you're supposed to go to. So right now there is one room you can see on Zoom, but then on that day, there are going to be multiple rooms. So for example, um, team three will be going, example, okay? Team three is proposition going against, let's say team uh, eight, okay? Now, what it basically means is, let's say team three is proposition and team eight is opposition. And let's say you are in room four. So you will be allocated to room four. You will go in that room. And then the judge is going to keep inviting uh, you based on your turn. So that's how the debate will happen. And ma'am, one more thing, like um, in motion three, at exactly at what time are we going to know that our time is coming? I mean, um, we are in opposition or proposition. I, I, 5, 530, 5.30. And ma'am, um, like... No, I think it's 6.30. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's 6.30. Oh. And ma'am, I have a doubt, like, at, um, what, I mean, not at what time, but uh, I have a doubt between at, from what time to what time is the debate competition. So I want you to go read the deck from day two, and then I want you to look at the second page. It has the entire schedule. So look at the schedule so, okay. so that you have a much better idea. Um, okay, um, can we go to Ishika now? Mom, I have a doubt. Like, what if one team does not get the chance to speak? One team, not one. No, person. everybody will get the chance to speak. That's not gonna happen. Oh, okay, ma'am. Okay, um, Ishika. Uh, ma'am, just to confirm, when we hmm. are making the dialogues, hmm. uh, it has to go order-wise. The first person will make the dialogue first share two points to the second person they'll make theirs and then both of them will share it to the third person so then they can make their summary yes you can share points all right okay um cool darsh what's your doubt mom i'm confused and understanding the the uh, second motion Whoever is annotating, that's not okay. Tell me what you did not understand. Mom, I don't understand anything. So, but I believe that it means that government should be held responsible for all the environmental damage. Hmm. There's, there's, is that the most? Is that yeah. so the on most? Proposition, yes, yes. So on proposition, you would say government should be held responsible. On opposition, you would say no, individual should be held responsible for okay. climate change. Um, um, Andy? Okay, I think that's my mistake. Sandy, did you want to say something? Yes, my question that 
will we um figure out will we find out who we're going against or will it be at random no you will find it out before the round okay with that let's start preparing for the for the for the debate which means i'm going to show you a motion and then um you're supposed to give me your submissions in the chat box and then i can tell you whether these submissions are good or not okay um starting with the first motion now the first prepared motion this is just like this this is just like preparation motion right just like for more for, for you to exercise because i can't actually um take the same motion i have given to you um, for the further preparation because i want everyone to probably work hard for it and like you know put in efforts and try to know about it by your research so it has to be a level playing field for everyone so the motion is should students have homework in primary school which means proposition is going to say that yes children should have homework in primary school and opposition is going to say that children should not have homework in primary school i have the motion is clear that the, that this is the this is just a practice motion okay but palakshi okay you are saying they should have little homework once a week um but when it comes to this motion you can't take the stance that you know they should have little homework you should either say yes they should have homework or you can be like they shouldn't have homework so there is no middle <laughs> middle stance but yeah you cannot choose the stance as of now you will have to think out of the box and out of your thinking to tell me what you think uh, in a bit so let's start with the practice mark um let's see let's see what you think for proposition side so can i have all the um for why we should have homework let's see i can see meher putting in yes students should have homework teachers students like teaches it so it teaches students essential life skills such as responsibility self discipline and time management great um old sakit ram you can't be neutral you have to be either prop or not. um okay we're starting with proposition right so yes they have homework to recap all topics um so if you no because no 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 guys i think you're not understanding the the point of it right we're discussing everything for side proposition so um somebody saying they should have practical homework and they learn responsibility okay homework is like an exam for what you learn very good um so i want you all to think about all of these arguments in particular sets so like particular structure now this particular structure is going to be heading of argument explanation example so if you're saying that homework is good because it gives you re revision that's the heading of your argument and then you need to explain as to how it actually gives you revision and then you need to give me give me an example so this should be the structure of your argument let's see how many of you all get it i'm not going to read anything that you're going to send for opposition as of now anyone who's sending for opposition i'm not reading it i asked you to specifically give me for proposition So Sanvi said that they should revise on the same day. Uh, this is the heading of your argument. Sanvi, you need to also give me explanation and example. Okay, Anya. Anya says um, they will have responsibility skills. This is just the heading. Can anyone give me example for why they get his responsibility skills? And this one I want to build. So anyone who has the answer can keep their cameras on. Okay, Anya, you want to explain? It. Go ahead. So like, uh, they will have responsibility. Like when they go home, they should have responsibility. Like I have to do this homework before the deadline. I have to keep it in the bag by myself. I have to solve it properly. this will make them feel more responsible and it's better that they become more responsible at the early age because if they become more responsible at the early age it will help them more at like um, later stages of life correct can you so i think that was a very good um, uh, explanation i think the example that you used was uh, you know whenever you have deadlines you are responsible for the deadlines which means you will end up finishing your homework before the deadline it would you would make sure that if the day of um you know checking of my homework is thursday i will make sure that on wednesday i have kept it in my bag great job anya um through hard work in long term they will get a job they will great um sakit that's a really good argument how people can learn time time management that's good 
Um, then homework makes you remember what you did. Yes, Ishika, and gives you a habit of studying, which makes it easier for school. Great. Um, yes, go ahead. Go ahead, yes, Ishika. So I think that kids uh, should get homework in primary school as well. As like uh, when they come to elder classes, they have to do the homework. Uh, and yeah, because in primary school, they will start to learn the basic things as homework as well and in school as well. Suppose like um, as kids, sometimes we... Uh, remember the concepts really well and then we forget it after a period of time so then in um having ha having the homework so you can just uh, revise it uh, really quickly and okay. then you won't forget it so i liked your point about uh, when you said you know they'll get a habit of doing homework because you know in those secondary secondary years when they start getting homework they won't be habitual to it that's how that was yeah. a good argument great um anvi what do you have to say Um, I think that they should have homework because sometimes students um take it home and don't do it and come back to school and say, "Ma'am, I did it, but I forgot it." So it also gives a sense of responsibility and that you should um uh do sh and it makes you like remember more easily. Okay. Um. Are there? Yes, Ridhan, that's a good good argument. Yes. So, ma'am, I would say that it is important because when because primary is only a whole part of the whole school experience. In the higher grades, like when you reach middle and senior schools, the, mm. the kids won't have a clue what homework is and it'll be very hard for them. And mm. how will they have the balance between? Hmm. Okay. It also helps them to focus a lot so that they don't forget everything. Yes, it that's what is the point it. of learning it. Yes, it also increases discipline because you know yeah. you have to do it. Like discipline is something when you know you know you know that something has to be done, but you don't like even when you're not feeling like doing it, right? So homework is one of those things where a lot of times you don't want to do it, but it actually um like makes you do it. Mehira, mehira. It creates a balance between both recreation and learning time. Hmm. Mehira. Yeah, I feel that when you do homework, you revise what you've done. And when you submit it, your, the teachers can understand if you've understood and not understood yes. a topic. Yes. And if you've not understood, they can give you a bit extra help and they can make you understand the topic. So that's, that's really a very good argument. Good job. Okay, Omar. Ma'am, we should have homework in primary school because mm -hmm. it gives us a, it gives us some more clues to learn about our surroundings more how do you say so why do you think it, it helps you learn about your surroundings ma'am because like when we go to fifth class when we go to higher classes we don't know what homework is when we don't no, but that argument is already done Omar. think of like why you said it helps you understand about your surrounding what surrounding are you talking about why do you say so so if you just say it helps you understand your surrounding, it's just an assertion. Judge is not going to believe you. You need to explain it still. I can see a very good argument on the chat box. Anya, good job. I like how you give uh, give example. Who was this? Arav also gave an example. So good job, Arav. Um, okay, Laksha. Ma'am, homework is important because whenever you get homework, it teaches you how to be independent and how to learn. Yes. So why do you say it teaches you independent, like, to be independent? Can you give me ex explanation for that? Say a good and say example. This is an example. If you if your teacher gives a math homework and you're good in maths, you can hmm. you can do it well by yourself without anyone's help. And it teaches the learning of independence independence hmm. okay um can we go to another question now let's see okay nobody's okay great so i think if i think by this you've exhausted all points for mom i've left i'm left i can't see any hands oh, 
Ma'am, I have my hand up. Wait, okay. Wait, Ma'am, wait, wait. I also have my wait. hand up. I want all of you all to keep your hands up. Okay, okay, okay. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Um, there's going to be a twist. You're supposed to tell me why we shouldn't get home for as opposed to saying why we should have home. Okay, great. Ma'am, um, ma please let me do the should one first. Mama. Okay, no, no, no. I, I, I know for a fact that you would repeat something that already that we've already done. So I want opposition. Arayana, you will only tell me opposition's point now. Tell me. Think why should we not have homework? Because I have a good idea. Uh, okay. This how strong we believe that sh children shouldn't get homework in primary school as it can create a burden on their shoulders and uh, they are just little kids so they should have free time, play yeah. time yeah. except for school and the workload can be too much for little ch children uh, who go to primary school. That was really good, Arayana. Good job. Okay. Adira. Opposition. Uh, Ma'am, without homework in primary school, you can catch up your classes. You're saying, no, wait. You're saying we shouldn't have homework. We are shift, shifted to opposition now. Yes, ma'am. I'm saying we should not have homework. Yeah, okay. Go on. So, we should not have homework. Uh, so without so with so when we when with with homework we have to miss a lot of classes to complete our homework. So with without homework we can catch up on our classes and do sports too. Okay, that's good. Um, Advit. Actually, I'm for. I'm actually for go with homework, but I guess I could say a point. Yeah, go on. So uh. Homework could be very difficult, mm -hmm. and it, and it's very stressful, especially if they're like FAs and essays in homework. So that like really just puts a lot of stress on you, and then then because of that you end up making silly mistakes, mm -hmm. and you lose marks. That's good. Yes. Um, who hasn't spoken yet? Uh, let me see. Wanshi. Uh, yeah. I think that we should not have homework in primary school because like kids need to focus more on exercise and they should have a free time. And mm -hmm. after school, they should focus on spending time with like their family or focusing on extracurriculums. Mm -hmm. And teachers should focus more on teaching topics in school with mm -hmm. like fun ways so students can remember them. Really? Can you also check the rating room once, please? I can't see anyone in the waiting room. Oh. Um, also, there's one person who is uh, joined in by the name of Killing and I've asked them to rename themselves. I'm not going to let them in. Yeah, yeah that's Sanvi actually. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Gonna... <laughs> okay, just Meher. I think we shouldn't have school because it causes a lot of stress and then you lose. Are you mind. saying we should have school or are you saying we should have homework? Ma'am, is this Sanvi? Sanvi has not joined us killing. No, she has joined us killing only, which is I was not letting her in. Oh. But now there's no entry. So could you ask her to probably join again? No, actually it was me. I was, I'm a mom. That's okay. That's so okay. I had no clue. Well, that... no, uh, uh, I think there's nobody in the waiting, right? No, there's nobody in the waiting, oh. right? I didn't know, ma'am. So sorry. Maybe oh. she should. Okay. Um, oh. Meher, you were saying just Meher? Um, so I don't think we should have homework because it causes a lot of stress. Uh, and then the, when you get it wrong and make silly mistakes, the teacher automatically gets mark, uh, marks a point down and then your parents get really mad. And mm. um, then you don't get time to play or hang out with your family and you're only stuck in your room. Okay, I want a different point which hasn't been spoken till now. Um, Man, I? If, you have, if you have a point which is different, then keep your hands up. Otherwise, keep it down. Um, Vivan, what, what do you have to say? Okay, I can't see Vivan anymore. Um, 
Ma'am? Ishika? Ma'am, I have a very unique point. Who's that? Ayana. I'll give you a chance, Ayana. You've already spoken. I want people to... Uh, yeah. Ma'am, should I speak? Yeah, go on. Elena, I was talking about Elena. So, um, it, if you're giving homework at a young age, it creates a lot of pressure. And as they grow up, more and more pressure comes because they have more homework. And once they get more and more pressure, they get uh, stressed. And from stress, they get health issues. There are lots of health issues that can come from stress. So it is better for a pre-primary to have less homework. Okay, finally, so I think the only different argument is here, here is uh, health and I think that's fine. Um, um, I have another question. Dash, okay, go on. And what about me? Um, uh, they should not get homework because they can learn and have personal freedom. They can learn new things like cooking, sport and... Uh, okay. That's fair. And they can play. Okay. Now, Elena, please can I speak? I've been raising my hand for Wait, wait, a wait, 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 wait. Um, Elena? Um, yeah, so students should this uh, students students sh um sh uh, should have homework. Shouldn't have homeworks. I'm asking should, why students shouldn't have homework in primary school because um that interferes in their life and they and they're young, so they should spend more time like just playing. And uh, also, um, in higher grades, they will have more homework. So mm. they should spend these, uh, this time. And more stress. Homework. Okay. That's a good argument. Okay. Adil. Finally. So, um, um, so um, it is scientifically proven that STEM learning is better for uh, children um, uh, in primary school. Um, so if there is less time for STEM learning... And more time for homework. Um, uh, wouldn't the children get uh, bored? Also, um, uh, like uh, other points that were said, children um in later grades will get a lot of homework. So they should first um uh, not already pressurize themselves, and they should go in with a fresh uh with a clean slate in their mind. Okay, all right. I think that's a lot of arguments. All of them were good. Let's move towards what the arguments I think could have been run. Ma'am, um, I can test. I have a different argument. Okay, Omar, Save. I don't have a lot of time, Omar. Okay, I will give you a chance for the next motion that we have. Um, okay, so, okay, everyone, keep your keep your mics um, turned off. Okay, first is it improves learning. Second is it increases time management. Third is uh, it, it can basically clear a lot of your concepts. Then it is, you know, you, it can probably help you prepare for future. So it's not just like, you know, your secondary years, but also when you're when you're learning like simple concepts like time management, discipline, it's also very helpful for your career. Um, then teachers can help um, in areas of improvement and can actually give you feedback. Last one is parents can actually keep a track on the progress of the child. So whenever kids are actually learning in, 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 in at home and they're trying to work uh, on their homework, parents can actually understand whether or not the kid is actually understanding the concepts taught in school. But why should we not have um, homework? I think a lot of you have pointed out that, you know, it gives stress to small children. It also basically means that, you know, um, uh, and it also means that you can't have a, la la a lot of uh, free time, which means you can probably do extracurriculars, play time, family time, all of which is very important. The next one is that, you know, a lot of you all probably on proposition were saying that, you know, you can learn independence, but then primary kids are probably too small to actually learn independence in the first place, but also like, I mean, um, you're too young to actually get a, a lot of heavy homework done. The next one is a lot of times when, when children are given homework, they come back from school, they try doing their homework, and it's, a lot of times it's so much that you can't actually explore extra interest because you don't have extra time to begin with, right? The next one is it can lead to academic burnout because, you know, you're, you're at, at school also, you're studying, at, at home also you're studying, there's no time for you to do, you know, recreational activities and whatnot. Uh, but lastly, a lot of times teachers give you a, a, a much harder um or may I, if I may say, like you know, some things which are which something which is out of your hand, you can't understand it. So it could lead to like malpractices, you know, uh, such as asking your siblings to do it, or probably asking your friends, or using guides for homework, chat GPT, and whatnot. Let's move and to the next. Like when you get uh when you like get the homework and you sit to do it, 
when you can't finish it when it's too much you are also scared that your teacher will yeah. scold you and then you get that fear that's true that's true okay let's go to the next argument the next argument then i'm okay by the way um how many teams do we have here i can see um, there are like 18 plus i think this 21 and 25 quest to join um so from team 1 to team 9 you're one team and team from te team 10 to team 25 you're one team which means um i'm going to give one chance to team team 1 to 9 and then one chance to team 10 to uh, 25. Now your chance, when I, when I say chance, it basically means if you repeat a, if you, if you repeat a point, uh, which has already been spoken, um, you don't get a point. But if you give a new point, you're going to get a point. So um, you get a point every time you create a new point. Um, and then you basically don't get a point if you um, give something which has already been spoken. So with the motion that I'm going to give next, you're going to tell me proposition points first. Uh, and by that, I mean, um, everyone, so, so I'll tell you, you know, I'll tell you from team one to nine, um, everyone keep your hands raised and then I'll choose one person. So once your turn is done, you are not going to speak afterwards. Okay. Um, so similarly for opposition, which means like so similarly for team 10 to team 25, I'm going to ask all the people to keep their hands up and then I'm going to choose one person and then I'm going to ask you to give your points. So let's start this um, team. So team one to team nine is team A. Team, team one to nine, team A, team Excuse me, ma two, 25, team B. Okay. Um, so we're starting with side proposition. Um, I'm also going to put uh, points in the chat box. So if you get a new point, you get 10 points. Okay. Um, great. So let's start with proposition side. Uh, motion is, um, it is better to learn from books or from internet. So you're, you're going to say why we should learn from books. Uh, with that, can we have all people from team one to nine raise their hands if they have a point? Only team one to nine. Let's see. I'm going to give you one to nine, one to nine. They've got their physical hands and virtual hands both up. Yeah. <laughs> um, Vivan, tell me. So when you're learning from the internet, it's easy to get distracted. When you're learning from books, it's just the one topic. So you can Oops, oops. It is side opposition. So you won't get a point. Let's go to team B. No, I'm so saying that books are better than the internet. Because the no, internet you're saying you can get distracted from the internet. Like I'm... Fine. Yeah, you just said opposition side. Can we go to um team B then? So team B, everyone keep their hands up. And everyone from team A, keep your hands down. Team B, team B, team B. Ma'am, you have to say proposition or opposition? Proposition, you have to say proposition. Okay, Sanvi, tell me. It's better to learn from books. Hmm. and internet... Your eyes can also get ruined. Okay, because your eyes can get ruined. Um, team B gets 10. Can we have team A? So you can't say the point that team B has already said. So team A, keep your hands raised. All the people from team B can put it down. Team A, team A. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, great. Um, Araina, go on. We have to speak on op. Prop. Prop only. Okay. It is better to learn from book. Sorry, my camera is not on. It's better to learn from books as the internet is um uh, is very. Okay, let's go give the chance to somebody else then. Um, Yashvika, go on. So, uh, yes, it is better to learn from books than internet because internet might give you the wrong information. Okay. Or like um, by in in internet, uh, if you are if you are asked to click on the link, you might get scammed or something. Okay. 
So Great. I think That's it, good. Um, it's better to learn from books. Cool, cool. Let's make it quick. Okay, it's going to be rapid fire. So let's go to team B. So team A right now has 10 points. Team B, let's, can we have all members from team B raise their hands? Only team B. Team B, team B. Ayana, go on. Okay. Okay, um, Saket Ram, go on. Mom, I think books are better for learning because it can also provide as an entertainment fun. Because if you are trying to find the more important things, you also have the little humor bits which I, which allow you to enjoy along with it as well. All right, Team B has 20 points. Team A, again, back to you. Team A, Team A. Uh, okay, let me see somebody who hasn't spoken yet. Um... Team A, Hridan, you haven't spoken. Go on. Yes, ma'am, because in books, it stays for a longer period while the information on internet might change like per hour or... Okay, great. So, Team A also gets 10 points. Now, uh, it's going to be... I have to say something. Wait, wait, wait. Team... Now, it is to Team B. Um, Last, last, last round for Team B. Then, we'll move, move to proposition. So team B, if team B gets this one right, they basically uh, will win this round. So team B, everyone keep their, keep your hands up. Team B, team B. So from anyone who is, um, okay, Adya, go on. Ma'am, books, books are better for learning because they are more reliable. And on the internet, sometimes we do not see things for our age. But on books, it is clearly written that this is for this for this age. Okay, so you're saying age-appropriate content is available on books. Great. Okay, then team B gets 30. Team A is on 10 with 20, which means team B wins this round. Ma'am, I have one more point. Okay, I know there are going to be a lot of points, but let's go to the round two. And then everybody who's not spoken yet. I want to say one can... last point about for team A. This is one thing I have to say. So when I said, said my point, I wasn't trying to support the internet. I'm saying, so I was saying something else. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, great. So I was saying, um, I think with that team, team, B has won. Um, Laksha, I know there are going to be so many more points that you probably want to wanna, wanna give. Okay, go on. Last thing then. Go yeah. on. So, I feel it's better to learn from books. Like one of the Team B members said, the internet has adult content when it rec some books have recommendation. And uh, books also stay on one topic. Like for an example... You're studying on how to debate well. The book hmm. states on how to debate well. It goes in detail. And so yeah, there's the internet, but the internet sometimes can go get wrong answers or, or go off topic sometimes. Like with ad the advertisements, and they can also yeah, hurt yeah. your eyes. So internet can, also be, internet can also be very distracting at times. Okay, let's go to my arguments because we don't have a lot of time. I'm so sorry for all of you all. Um, um, sorry, hey, I um, to um, small ask. question. Um, sorry, the same point is what Vivan mentioned, and you mentioned that it was an opposition, and now it's a preposition. I'm a little confused on how we are defining opposition and preposition. No, I'm. I, no, I would. I think he was just generally sharing his point. It was out of the context now. Excuse me, ma'am. Okay. All right. But yeah. this point that he made is it considered opposition or preposition? Because when Vivan mentioned it was uh. You know that okay, books can get you. No, no, no. Okay, wait. So I, I tell you what I understood from, from what Vivan said. So Vivan said that you know even when it is like when it is internet, um, it's uh -huh. great. I, I'll, I'll go back. So I what I understood from what Vivan was saying was that when it is internet, you have much more much more things to see as opposed to from books. So it looked like you know internet gives you more information as opposed to what in information books give you. Okay, I think so he basically that, has to elaborate a little more on whatever he's yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, yeah. I'm just trying to understand what should he pick so that he's a little more prepared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow. So I mean, Thank right you so now much. when he explained, it looked like it, it was proper in terms of telling me that, okay, the more information that internet probably is giving isn't relevant for you, which is why it is bad. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. it has to be a little more verbose. Got it. Thank yeah, you so yeah. much. Thanks, Adam. 
Okay, um, so arguments for said proposition. I'm going to share my arguments and then uh, if you have anything different from that, then let me know. So it has to be different. So any team, any member who's going to give me a, an argument which is not on the screen is going to get a bonus 20 points. So that team basically will win the entire thing, okay? So right now, team A is on 20 points, team B is on 30 points. So let's see. Um, so first argument says books create habit of reading and learning. Books are credible sources for knowledge. So third one says um, they do not you, don't, you do not require internet or online access. You can basically remotely access them. So yeah, you know, like when you don't have access to internet, also you can probably read a book. Then online you have a lot of distractions. The next one is books can be made interesting via pictures and graphs. The last one is it, it basically gives you in depth knowledge of through specialized book. So. If y'all have anything different from any of that in on, on screen, let just keep your hands up. If not, so I'm going to give one chance to team, team A and one chance to team B to see if you have something different. If you don't have something different, then you'll get a minus five point. Okay. So I can see Shruti go on. Um, I'm not from team B, but like I just wanted to say that like you get engrossed in the books, like mm -hmm. it's like really fun to learn. Okay, so you have more attention span, is it what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, that's a new point. I think. I mean, it can probably come under four point four, but I think the fact that you uh, mentioned it also makes sense. So team B gets extra twenty points, which means they are at fifty. Let's see. Um, team A. Is there anyone who says that you know I have a point which is? Not I have a point. It's not. Wait, wait. I wait. I think Palakshi has a point. Palakshi. I also have a. I'm from I'm team from B. B. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't. don't then don't. Then don't. <laughs> Why? Out of you, go ahead. Yes, sir. So, ma'am, like, um, in websites, like the websites for research, they can be, like, easily deleted. But books, like, there's a permanent record of knowledge in there. You cannot delete okay, it. Okay, permanency of books can be a new point that they gives you 20. So, team A has 20. Um, I think, Adil, because you mentioned that you have a very different point, I want you to give you the chance. To um, so, um, um, books usually provide the author's unfiltered thoughts and ideas, whereas internet can also have a bias. That's a very good argument. Good job. Yes, that's a good argument. So I'm gonna give you... I also have a different point. But Lakshi, I think you can go on because I think B, you're from Team B. Go on. Um, so Miss, I thought that um, it, uh, the books are better because when you're online and if you're a kid, so like you don't have much experience to like um, um, like there can be some online. No. Like, you know how cyberbullying is that? But like, not yeah. exactly cyberbullying. So, like, it's unsafe. So if something books. comes up, yeah. It's unsafe for you sometimes. Okay. That that gives you a point, Jaya. Mom, I have a different point. Um, I also have a different point. Mom, may I? Okay. So, like, Jaya, go. Different... So, like, books are, like, uh, usually written by experts or writers. So, the information in the books are, like, completely accurate. But, mm -hmm. um... For some websites, like how Wikipedia, they can be changed. So sometimes they even write fake news. This argument already was present on my site, on my slide. Second point. Excuse Books me, are can I add a knowledge. point? Excuse me, ma'am. Can I say from Team B, Umar Kashif? Okay, okay, Umar. Last thing from Umar and then we're done. And then oh, probably Sanmi. Umar and then Sanmi. Ma'am, books are better than internet because books, books, in internet, our eyes may get... We've uh, already done that. Uh, we've already done the uh, eyes. Argument. I also have a point. Ma'am, I have a different point. Okay, Sanvi. Can I speak after Sanvi? The internet can also publish wrong information. That's already there. Um, Can any can anyone Ma else I have a different Ma point. Ma'am, I have a different point. Ma'am, I have a different point. Everyone who is now saying, keep your hands down, keep it in the chat box. I want to see who has a different point now. I want to see in the chat box. Um, with that, let's go to the opposition side as well. 
so opposition can probably talk about uh, a lot of things uh, so books are boring they don't have graphics books may have many editions which are very difficult to actually uh, put um, in your hand and then books can be accessed online as well because you have kindle books can get hefty um, hence it is inconvenient um, online platforms are very interactive and help students learn faster internet is widely accessible and easy to use which is why you know knowledge is just one click away which is site opposition so yes book is original and handmade that could be an argument for proposition um all right then yeah. i think uh, with that i'm for now for today i'm going to end today's class but i wish you all a very good luck for your debates um i hope you all have a good time mama have a good oh, time